Hello, who am I here with today? Hi, I'm Carly Furman. I'm CEO of NIAX North America. Okay, can you tell me about NIAX, please? Sure. We are a global payment solution provider. Um, we are in over 100, company, or 100 countries globally. Um, we have about 1.2 million devices. And at the end of the day, we're a payment solution provider. Mm -hmm. So that means it's our best in class um, payment devices. And it's the entire ecosystem that you know makes up the unattended payment experience, right? So that's management systems, data dissemination, uh, integration with unattended machines and EV chargers, of course, um, as well as payment facilitation. So you guys do payment solution for many different different industries, Correct. not just uh, EV charging. Yep, so EV charging is one of the many industries that we touch, mm -hmm. um, but really we're anything and everything unattended. So mm -hmm. think, you know, self-checkout kiosks, um, traditional food and beverage vending machines, amusement rides, um, car washes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anything and everything unattended. Okay, uh, what makes the difference between your company and your competitors? Well, um, you know, we'd like to say that, you know, again, it, it's really about that end-to-end -end payment solution that we're offering, right? So where others in the payment space really either are not focused purely on unattended, there's so much proprietary knowledge that NIAX has with how to integrate with every and any unattended machine. Um, so it's that, you know, what we call the handshake with an unattended machine using different proprietary and also standardized protocol methods, as well as then that entire transaction flow. So being able to give a turnkey EMV uh, 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 solution that also is offering PCI compliance and then all the management, embedded loyalty and the payment facilitation. Okay, uh, can you tell me, can you introduce some of your products that's shown here? Sure, I would love to. So this is our EV kiosk. Um, and so it it's, has our V-Post Touch on it. This is, you know, for um, uh, insert, uh, contactless payments um, as well as legacy swipe and it's 4G enabled and this is attached to um, our new EV kiosk. So as you can see there are several different chargers here and this is great for retrofitting especially AC chargers in the field, right? So this one happens to be occupied but let's see. So if it wasn't occupied, right, you would be able to um, see that if someone, when you start a charge, right, you know, you plug in, you can start the charge, present your credit card, and off you go. And then at the end of the charge, you also get a QR code so you can actually have a receipt and also see the state of charging during the transaction. Um, additionally, we have, I guess we can kind of come over here too. So this is, you know, one of our partners, um, EV chargers, right, an AC charger that's embedded with our Uno Mini device, which allows for contactless payments. So great for smaller, um, uh, you know, compact locations like an AC charger, as well as, um, you know, offers a more cost-effective um, option for accepting card present payments. Okay, all right. So you mentioned that you're a global company, but when it comes to EV charger, industry, uh, which markets are your biggest, you, you have the biggest presence in? Sure. So, you know, one of the things that has allowed us really to have the success and scale that we've accomplished, you know, in the EV space is the fact that we have such a global footprint, right? Mm -hmm. So we're working with really every and any um, uh, charging manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether it's, you know, manufacturers that are based in China or Korea or, you know, in Italy or, of course, in the U.S., we're then able to have our local team Mm -hmm. you know give that kind of support for the installation mm -hmm. so that all chargers then go out with NIAX already embedded in it. This makes it much easier for CPOs, regardless of where you know they're located, to then have a turnkey solution, um, you know, ready for them, you know, in their local market that works for their local currency. Um, you know, from a CPO perspective, we have a really great footprint um, in the U.S. You know, we have you know accounts with you know every national um, CPO, so you know, Electra America, EVgo, Ready, um, as well as also you know local um, uh, CPOs, as well as also working with you know dealers you know car dealerships too to give in front of the gate um, charging solutions that work with car present okay and um, I'm just assuming but I'm pretty sure you guys get less affected by what is happening in the EV market because of um, variety of business that you guys have but um, for the EV industry right now is kind of chaotic in a sense 
Yes, uh, <laughs> that well, is one way to put it. Yes. <laughs> what's your projection for you know, next few years on what's going to happen to EV industry and EV charging industry as well? Yeah, I mean, I guess first and foremost, I don't think any of us really know mm. what's going to happen, right? I mean, right, it's, right, it's, right. It's wild out there right now. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I do think you know the momentum has already, you know, the, the momentum's already there for mm. you know EV vehicles. Mm. Um, and we're already seeing, you know, EV adoption going beyond just early adopters and hitting more, you know, to the mainstream. So, you know, again, I think it's going to be it's kind of the, you know, the wild, wild west right now in terms of what's going to happen from a geopolitical perspective and, right. you know. Yeah, yeah. We get it. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> but, um, you know, from, from our standpoint, you know, we are there to support mm -hmm. All the charger manufacturers that are, you know, globally located, as well as CPOs, um, and hopefully, regardless of what different administrations, you know, are going right. to kind of, you right. know, kind yeah. of throw um, throw at us all, you know, we'll still be able to um, come with a, you know, a, a cost-effective and um, turnkey solution that will still allow for adoption of. Of okay. That's well, <laughs> thank you for answering all the questions. Before we go, do you want to add anything about the company, or like you mentioned about the EV industry? Do you want to add anything to that? Or sure, I think you know it's just been really exciting, you know, to get to be part of you know an industry like you know like the EV industry, right? Um, NIAX has been involved in the U.S. with you know EV expansion since 2016. So, you know, it's just been, it, it's fun to see, you know, where we've come from. Yeah. And also, I think it's exciting finally to really see that there's the momentum from the EV industry with acceptance of the need for card present payments, right? You know, and how that's going to make for a more seamless driving experience. So, you know, it's been exciting. And I think, you know, there's still a lot of work for us all to do collectively. But, you know, just seeing the show and how it's even grown over the past two years is, you know, it's reaffirming. So. All right. Thank you for your time, colleague. Thank you. It was really nice to meet you.